Welcome to this episode of Animals and Ames. I'm your host Ron Edwards and I have great animals to show you today. They're available for adoption at the Ames Animal Shelter. This is the first one that we're going to see today and this is one big kitty. Um, <clears throat> Snoopy came in to us. Uh, unfortunately his owner had passed away. So we got Snoopy and Mischief in here at the shelter. Snoopy weighs 22 pounds and believe me he is every ounce of that 22 pounds but he's also a lot of love so um, would make a great um, pet for a family. He's only six years old, so we've got a long life ahead of him. Um, and uh, we are asking that uh, Mischief be adopted with Snoopy. They have been together for the whole six years. And again, the owner just passed away. So we wanna keep these cats together. Um, so we're offering a special two for one adoption. So you only have to pay for one of the adoption fees. And then we'll be able to keep Snoopy and Mischief together. Great cat, both of them are six years old. Uh, Mischief is all black, and you see Snoopy here is all gray. It's a beautiful gray cat. They often call this a Russian blue. It's a beautiful cat here available for adoption at the Ames Animal Shelter. So come on, take a look down at uh, the shelter, and let's get Snoopy on a diet. He could lose a few pounds. And here we have Ben. Ben is a three-month-old kitten. Um, ben actually came to the shelter with five other siblings. So we have six of these kittens here at the shelter, about three months old. Um, they were actually left abandoned in an uh, empty house. And the person that brought them to us was kind enough to get them out of that environment and bring them here to the shelter where they're safe. Um, he still needs to be neutered, but he is available for adoption. Again, about three months old. Beautiful orange tiger. Uh, tiger. You got the stripes there. Beautiful kitten. Um, again, probably needs to be a, a quieter home. Um, they need a little bit more socialization and time to learn um, <clears throat> excuse me, that uh, people are good and they're going to spend some time with them. And so he gets to feel where he feels comfortable in a home environment. But he's probably going to hide a little bit the first uh, few days that he's there. Uh, but he'll make a great cat once he gets into the family. So come on down and take a look at Ben at the shelter. And this is Aurora. Aurora, you may remember, she's been on the show previously. She was adopted and brought back to us. The um, other cats in the home didn't like Aurora invading their space. So she's just a beautiful cat, kind of a Siamese mix. She's got these beautiful chocolate points on her ears um, and on her tail. So beautiful Siamese mix, very quiet cat. Um, not as talkative as you'd see with a lot of Siamese. But she really needs a quiet home and probably should be the only cat in the home based on her last experience. Um, but a beautiful cat, she's only about a year old and she's already spayed. Um, one of the shelter volunteer favorites here. Um, but just a beautiful cat. Um, looking for an indoor home, of course. She does have all of her claws and we like to keep it that way. Um, we don't encourage declawing at all. And um, she would just really have no protection if she went outdoors without her claws. So we want Aurora and all of our cats to stay indoors where they're safe. And that's where they want to be at. They want to be with their, with their people. Um, but she's just a really special cat. Again, she was returned, but it really is no fault of hers. that She just, uh, the other cats didn't get along with her in the household. So we'll look for a home for her without any other cats. And I'm sure she'll be one happy kitty. So come on down and take a look at Aurora today. And this is our first of our dogs. Um, Jewel is one of the favorites here. Just a really sweet dog. Um, a little on the submissive side, but uh, came into us as a stray uh, with a collar, this bright orange collar here, and a leash. And the owners never claimed her. Um, so she will be available for adoption shortly. Um, but we say, we're saying that she's kind of a lab mix. You can hear that tail going a mile a minute. Um, but she's a lab mix. Uh, we think that she's a few years old. Um, but a really sweet dog. Seems to get along well with other dogs. Um, but very gentle, very loving, gives good kisses. Um, just a sweet, sweet dog. Um, she will be available very shortly, as I said. Um, we'll make sure that she's spayed before she goes home. It looks like uh, Jewel may have had some puppies in the past. And, you know, it's so important to spay or neuter your pets. We want to make sure that all the animals adopted from the Ames Animal Shelter are spayed and neutered. Um, to help in part of the pet overpopulation issues. 
But Jewel is just such a sweet dog, easy to walk on the leash. Um, she actually did sit down really nice for me as I was opening the door. And um, just a real gentle natured dog, doesn't pull at all. Um, a little excited about being here in our cat room, um, but uh, just a sweet dog. And I think would make a great pet, probably a, a really good dog with some kids. Um, so a great family pet. So come on down to the shelter and meet Jewel today. She's just a, just a love and I think you'd enjoy meeting her. And this is Hercules. Hercules, this is great Hercules. Um, really sweet Chihuahua. Um, about a year old. Uh, came into us as a stray. Uh, the owners have not claimed him yet. Um, he's got these ears, so I think they work as antennas. Um, but really, really sweet dog. Uh, one of the favorites. Uh, just loves to be with people. Also gives good kisses. Um, but just a really sweet dog. About a year old. Um, he will be neutered before he gets adopted. Um, as I said before, spaying and neutering is extremely important to help uh, curb the in pet overpopulation issues. Um, so there's uh, too many homeless animals out there that need homes. So he is available for adoption. If you want to come on down to the Ames Animal Shelter and take a look at him, um, he's not as squirmy when you get him by himself, but he's excited in the cat room here. So come on down and take a look at him. This is Macy. Um, she's one of our very excited, um, full of a lot of energy dogs. Uh, she is a pit bull. Uh, we estimate that she's a few years old and um, just lots of energy. Really needs an experienced home, uh, someone that will be able to handle her. Um, she does have a lot of muscle, <laughs> as all of the, uh, the pit bull terriers do. Um, so really needs an experienced home that will spend some time and train her. Um, she was surrendered by someone who had found her um, just a few weeks prior. So kind of a stray situation where an owner's never claimed her. Um, but uh, <laughs> but uh, so far we haven't seen um, any bad behaviors here, but we still think that she needs to be in an experienced home environment where someone can train her proper behavior around people and around other animals. So come on down and take a look at Macy. She's about two years old. Um, she has been spayed. Um, just been at the shelter for a short period of time. <laughs> but would love to come and meet a new family. So come on down and take a look at Macy. Thank you for watching this episode of Animals and Names. Remember that that was just a sampling of some of the animals that we have here at the shelter. You know, I'm often asked here at the shelter, um, what we look for in adopters. And I always kind of think if I have uh, furry friend rules, that's what I call them. Um, things that we look for is that we want the pets to be adopted and be indoor-only on, indoor pets. Of course, the dogs can go out and go potty, but the cats need to be indoors all the time. It's safer for them, and you know the Iowa winters here and the Iowa summers, it's best for the pets to be kept indoors. Spay and neuter. That's the second thing that comes to my mind. Um, there's too many homeless pets out there. We need to make sure that all the pets are getting spayed and neutered because there is a surplus of animals. Um, not so bad here in our community. But in a lot of the surrounding communities, there's too many pets being born and not enough homes. So spay and neuter your pets. We also want to make sure that they're getting regular, <coughs> excuse me, regular um, veterinary care and annual vaccinations. It's so extremely important for your pet. It's also the law when it comes to rabies. So you want to make sure your pets are currently vaccinated for rabies and make sure that they're wearing their tags at all times. A lifetime commitment is also important. All the pets that we adopt here have come from different environments, and we really want the home that's adopted from the Ames Animal Shelter to be the forever home. So that's what we're looking for, is a lifetime commitment for our pets. We wanna make sure that all pets have proper food, water, and shelter. Um, again, if they're indoors, the shelter part's taken care of, but make sure they have proper food and water at all times. You wanna make sure they also have pet identification. So the rabies tag, um, a personal pet identification tag, or a microchip, those are perfect ways to identify your pet. So if it's lost, we can get the pet back to you as soon as we can. And the final thing with cats, we are against declawing. We wanna make sure that um, paws come with claws and we keep them that way. Um, it's not our policy here to declaw cats um, and nor do we think it's a procedure that's, that's important to do. Um, there's alternatives you can do. There's lots of information on the um, websites and such. So make sure you look at that information 
and truly learn what decloying is before you have the procedure done. Um, and most importantly, provide love. We want to make sure that you provide the best home, that forever home provides love and care for these animals that we adopt out here of our shelter. For whatever reason they're here in our shelter, they need a loving home, and we hope that you can provide that to them. Thanks for watching.